A quick tutorial on how to use, how to get your phone back with the HD2 Toolkit 4.2.0.1. You're going to need to download it, then you're going to need to extract it to your desktop. Once you extract it to your desktop, open it up and um, you should get this symbol on your desktop. Click on this symbol, which is HD2 Toolkit, then click Yes. Once you click Yes, you're going to go down to where it says Extra Tools and put a check in the box, Express Tool Beta. Click OK. Then you want to put your phone in DUF mode. I'll be back as I put my phone in B DUF mode. Alright, this is DUF mode. Yeah, you hear some noise in the background. That's my television set. Love watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. Next, you want to plug your USB in. And it should um, read there on your phone. After you do that, Set that to the side there. You want to go back to your HD2 toolkit. HD2 toolkit. You want to click on wipe. Tax 29. Then you want to follow the instructions. And as you see, it'll work on its own once you follow the tutorials. going through the process on the screen. It tell you check your phone and you, as you check your HTC HD2 this is what you should see. Voila. <laughs> now you just wiped it and you're also installing it. Yeah you just wiped it you gotta go back into DUF mode. So you can hold your volume button. <laughs> yeah you gotta excuse my kids. Then you're gonna hold down the volume down button. Go back into your multicolor screen with your DUF mode. Wait for your computer to recognize it. USB is recognized. Set that back to the side. Come back over. And you want to click on Install Magular. Once you click on Install Magular, it's going to ask you about the multicolor. And it should look like this with USB at the bottom. Alright, once you click on back to your computer, click on OK. And it's gonna be the same process. It's gonna do it on its own. As long as you have Express Tool Beta checked, see how it's going through. And you don't have to select everything, okay, or none of that. Just do Express Tool Beta. That'll be the quickest method. And then you're back, and it's um, uploaded into your phone. And as you see there, it took you back to HTC HD2. This is the splash screen I put on mine. But I'll go into that at another time. I will not make a video for that. And you'll see there is nothing on the kernel. You go down to USB Flasher 5 with your volume buttons. Volume down. Then you click your green phone button to go into the Flasher tool. Oh, I can't see it. Give me a second. I had to, I had to set my phone down. I'm trying to do everything with two hands. But anyway, it's a USB flasher. Then you go back to your toolkit. You want to partition your system, you can. Um, or you can leave it defaulted like it is. But you do have to select one of your system partitions for Magular. I select 400, and I change my catch here to 5. Then I click repartition. And then follow the tutorials. And then you're in DFT um, application. Click next. Click next. And it's going to try to find your phone. Make sure your USB cord don't come unplugged. See how about this finally now. Run OK, OK. Reset now. And now it's booting back up. And in order to get into clock mode that you just installed, you're going to have to take another step and go down to recovery. That's going to be number 8. AD recovery. Let me see if I can do this one hand again.
Um, once you go into um, recovery, it's going to take you to clockwork mode. Oh, dog, I got you in the video with your thumb in your mouth. Oops. No, I really do. All right, now you want to go down. Um, make sure you have your micro SD in there. And you want to go and install from zip to install whatever ROM you've already downloaded onto your device or your SIM card. I'm sorry I rebuilt this phone. I just threw it back together. Say so install from zip, choose zip file. Mine is at the bottom. I'm using KitKat. And Nexus HD 2. If I can get this to focus, I'll show you. Well, I'll show you later on after it installs. Alright, then you click your K okay button again. This is a total rebuild on this phone. And then you click yes again. Oh, I gotta look at my phone to make sure. And then it starts to, to install. And whenever you want to do any new ROM, you got to go through that process of wiping, tax 29. And you really want to wipe everything. And there you are. Install. I'm going to change mine to the NAND, not to the um, SD. And I'm going to do a full install. Click next, let it do its thing. Click start so it can upload and install. This is going to take a couple of minutes, like four to five minutes. Got you, got you in the house with a hat on and your thumb in your mouth. Now you see it's going pretty fast because it's a clean wipe. There's nothing on... There's nothing on the logic board, on the memory card, or on the RAM. It's going to go pretty fast, but it's still going to take about um, four minutes. It's giving you a style of basic um, Google, Google apps, not all the Google apps. So if you want your maps, um, Hangout, and things of that nature, you do have to download those on your own uh, from the Play Store. I guess it took less than four minutes because it's almost done now. This phone I actually um, sold to someone else and they destroyed it. So I brought it back to life. I'm still working on it, but I want to do this video to help somebody out on X Day Developers. At 64 percent, 66. I guess it's a two-minute install or upload. Because I'm looking at my timer and it's still ticking, so it's not approximately a total four minutes. But you can see the permissions that it's accepting, and then you click next. Then you reboot your device. Now this process here, now it's installing, but this process here is going to take a minute. I need a ruler. It boosts the phone. I changed my screen scratch as I said before. I'm going to change it again. But that's a, that's a whole different topic. And I'm not going to entertain that one now, nor do a video on it. HTC is here to stay. Starting back from gingerbread all the way up to Kit Kat. Yeah, we rocking it. You see I customized this phone a little bit. You don't see the blue dots or the red dots in the top screen. Because once I redone it, I've redone it inside out. With the exception of a few things I kept inside. Alright, I'm going to go let this go through the whole process.
I'm not going to pause it so you can see the actual time it takes to load up KitKat. Uh, that's actually going to take a minute, so I'm going to pause and come back. All right, it's finished uploading. Now it's ready for you to go ahead and uh, uh -uh, go through the tutorials. <laughs> Click your button here. This is KitKat, so you have you would have to do your own whatever ROM you got. You go ahead and do that. I'm going to skip that process there and go over there. I'm going to skip the process of setting the time because I have some more work to do with this phone. And there's the finished setup. Now that's KitKat 4.4.2. Go up here and let you see that one. See how it installs Super User? This is a rooted phone. And 4.4.2, kick it all day, every day. Hope you enjoy us and thanks. And best of everything for